You are nothing but a disappointment, Alicia. Look at you with that ugly face and frizzy hair. How can you ever hope to succeed when you can't even present yourself properly? You're a failure. But, Mom, I... It's no wonder your sister Anna is much better than you. She's successful and beautiful, and the entire school adores her. But you have to admit that. I always try to be better. If you did try, you would have at least become a little better. Daughter of Rosalind Lewis, I wish... I wish I never had you. I'm so sorry, Mom. But I'm not the daughter you wished me to be. <laughs> if, if I only was born like my mother. <laughs> Hello? You finally picked up after ten missed calls. It's only three missed calls, actually. Hmm. Well, the plot twist is... I'm staring at you right from the window. Oh, cool. Wait, huh? Seriously, Arthur? No, oh, please. You should be grateful that I, the most popular boy in school, even considered the idea to go pay a visit to you. As arrogant as ever I see. Well, my father is the mayor of the city. What do you expect? It doesn't change the fact you answered negative 79.9 to a math question asking how tall James is. This is why I'm here in the first place. To thank you for correcting me during the test. Although she was so close to catching us. Oh. You're welcome, I guess. Wait, Elysia? Have you been... crying? Hey, are you okay? N no, I'm fine. Doesn't seem like it to me. Arthur, what if someone sees us? You can't be seen with a girl like me. And who said I care about people? Listen, Elysia, the last thing I could ever think of is what people think about me. I don't believe that's true. Even if it was, I wish my mother and the school were like you. Oh? Ah, let me guess. Your mother scolded you for being ugly. How did you know? When I say I'm intelligent, I mean it. Well, it's more than obvious. Not to be quite rude, but you're a literal mess right now. Your mother is a popular actress, and I've never seen you taking a single picture with her. It feels like she's hiding you from her fans, am I correct? That's right. You've got it all right. I'm nothing like my mother. I relate to your pain, Elysia, but somehow different. Huh? I'm joking. Anyway, enough with describing the problems. Now it's time to come up with a solution. Have you ever considered getting plastic surgery? Yes, I did. But a part of me still hesitates. Why? You see, living as a completely new person seems like a hard task. And it's pretty expensive, so... Why didn't your mother consider plastic surgery for you? She said I'm not worth her money. And she'd be embarrassed when she gets to meet the doctors. Like, it'd damage her reputation more than it already is. I can lend you some money. Oh my god, Elysia, I can't even recognize you now. You can do it! Make mom regret everything she has done to you. Anna, Arthur, thank you so much. Not only did you help me with this plan, but you've always been there for me, despite being ugly. Alicia, you have never- You've never been ugly to me. Huh? A person's beauty is what lies beneath their heart. That's true. But Anna, you- you are beautiful and smart, unlike me. You too, Arthur. You're handsome, and you're sometimes loved for having such a great personality. I don't agree on the personality one. Wow, how kind. It is such an honor to meet you, Lady Rosalind. Well, why, of course. It's also an honor to be here to witness my wonderful daughter graduating from high school. Ah, oh, this is going to be one of the greatest days of my life. I can't wait to witness my son appearing on the stage, too. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Today, we gather to honor the brilliant minds and exceptional talents among us. Without further ado, let us begin by acknowledging our three outstanding students. Yes, yes, please hurry up already. And now, it is my honor to present the award for the top student of class 3-3, Arthur Fontanier. My son, yes, I knew you'd be above everyone. Wait, Arthur is your son? Wait, uh, could you... 
possibly be... Camille Fontier, the wife of the mayor of the city. Oh, what a pleasant surprise. Since we have awarded the student of class 3-3, it is now time to reward the student of class 3-2, a brilliant girl who possesses a wild mind and has amazed the entire school with her mind-blowing glow-up. It is my honor to present the award to... Elysia Lewis! Wait, who? Well, isn't that your daughter? Congratulations! N no that's not my daughter. This is not Alicia, nor Anna. This is basically impossible! Well, surely there's no other Alicia Lewis that studies here in this school. Thank you so much, everyone! It was an honor to study here and stand on this stage, although I've had my ups and downs. This school has taught me so much more than I could have ever imagined, and I met wonderful people here. Special thanks to my sister. And ugh. My mother. Yeah, judging by the look on her face, that is 100% your daughter. What even happened anyway? So, it's finally over. Alicia! Anna! What the hell is going on? Oh, good afternoon, Mom. Hey, I'm asking a question. Answer me, Alicia! Fine. Let's keep it short. I got upset and got a plastic surgery. That does not explain anything! Well, as if I'm in the mood to talk to you! Ladies, calm down. Listen, you stupid little brat. If you do not explain everything to me when we get home, I'll... And who said I'll go back home anyway? Mom, let me explain. Let's not get worked up, okay? So, Alicia wants to stay over at Arthur's house tonight. Yeah, no, that is not going to happen. I am not letting her stay in the same house as a stranger boy. What is the meaning of this anyway? Getting plastic surgery and suddenly becoming a top student? Am I in a dream or something? Fine. You want to know what this is all about? It's all because of your stupid cruelty and lack of love. Huh? My life has been ruined ever since the day I was born to an arrogant mother who only cares about beauty. You treated me so horribly. As if you found me in the trash can! You never supported me. Physically, nor emotionally. You have always put all the blame on me and let your anger out on me! And you know what? You wish I was never born, huh? Well, I wish I was never born to a horrible mother like you! Alicia, I... You have loved and treated Anna like a little princess. My own sister getting more love than me? Just because she's beautiful. My sister accepted me and loved me for who I was. And she supported me like a mother. Why, Mom? Why did you and the world treat me like this? I did nothing wrong! I'm just a child who needs a mother. You have failed that role. And I'll never, ever forget the pain you have made me go through. Excuse me now. I'm leaving. Elysia, wait! You have made a terrible mistake, Mrs. Rosalind. I hope you have learnt from your mistake. But isn't perfection what makes a person worthy? I'm going to bed. Do you need anything? No thanks. I'm good. Listen, I couldn't help but notice that you've been pretty down recently today. Yeah, it's just my mother again. Don't worry. Take some rest, Elysia. Good night. Weird. Why do I feel safe and warm whenever he's around? Huh? Who would arrive this late at night? Mom? Alicia, thank goodness. I couldn't help but think about you. Uh, please, let me speak. I promise I won't say anything harsh, okay? Fine. Just because you considered visiting me. Thank you. Alicia, I know this is foolish coming from me, but I'm so sorry for being a terrible mother to you, and I truly regret it. Huh? I have dishonored and mistreated you. I was taught by my parents that perfection and success comes from the outside beauty of a person. As you know, your grandparents were both famous actors, and I was just like you. They considered me ugly and a failure just because I had an ugly body. In fact, I wasn't good at school at all. I was failing multiple classes. They called me many words and broke the so little confidence I had in myself. And then, after their passing, I took their position and became the actress I am today. Their death and cruelty still did leave a wound on me to this day. 
and your so-called stupid mother seemed to let all the pain on you. I wanted a perfect daughter, a daughter who won't ever disappoint me like I did to my parents, and I really regret it. Mom. Please, forgive me, Alicia. I am begging you. I have never thought I harmed you so badly to the point that you'd get a surgery. I'm such a horrible mother, but I'm willing to change, Alicia. Please forgive me. Mom, I'm so sorry for shouting at you yesterday. Don't you dare apologize for this. You had all the rights to shout at me. I love you, little Ellie. I love you too, Mom. Oh no, I think the plastic surgery went wrong. Don't worry, Ellie. You look so beautiful. Everyone will make fun of me now. I'm not letting that happen. You are pretty inside out, Elysia. Thank you, Arthur. We all love you for the way you are. Never again try to change yourself, my dear sweetheart. I feel so much better now. Love you, Mom. Love you too, honey. Mm -hmm.